What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today we are talking replica belt stands. Now, if you guys collect normal WWE replica belts, this video doesn't really apply to you as they stand quite nicely on their own. This is more of a video aimed towards people with belts such as the Fandu belts or um, re-leathered replica belts or even just real belts that have floppy leather, um, which is, you know, floppy leather, something that people ask for, it's not actually a good leather. <laughs> um, but anyway, the reason I want to make this video is because my Fandu Big Gold sits in my Ikea Detol belt cabinet or display cabinet and it doesn't sit properly. The leather is so terrible on my Fandu Big Gold, aka the JTW World Heavyweight Championship, it literally sinks. And uh, I'll, I'll overlay footage of that on this section here that you can see my normal replica belts, my WWE Network logo, my spinner, my ECW, they sit normally. However, my Fandu Big Gold just dies, I guess you could say. It just flops. And uh, the reason for that is because the leather is so bad. It's got no weight to it. Um, it can't support the weight of the plates it's carrying. So I asked around. I'm in several belt groups on Facebook, you know, Belt Talk, Brothers of the Belt, several of them. And uh, a lot of the guys on there are great for giving advice in regards to certain things. And one of them things is how to display a belt that's leather can't support its plate. So what we're talking about today, guys, is what I have got in this package right here. We're going to open it up. Now, I want to give a shout out to a popular YouTuber called Stephen Hammer. He was actually the one that drew my attention to these. Now, what these are, guys, is these are, I guess you could say, easel stands. Uh, for you guys across the pond over in the States, you can buy these in Walmart, I believe, in the, uh, the picture frame aisle, from what Stephen said. Uh, but over here in the UK, they're not readily available. So I had to buy these on eBay. Now, these are so inexpensive. I got this for about £3.50. Uh, they're called easel stands over there in the US. But an easel stand over here is something that you have like a painting on. Uh, so what I actually Googled was um, plate stands. So I know a lot of people out there collect like dinner plates, especially, I know my nan, uh, when my nan was alive, she used to collect like dinner plates with like different patterns on and stuff. And this is the kind of thing you stand them on. So I've bought this really inexpensive. I don't know how well it's actually gonna work, but I'm gonna give it a good shot. And uh, you guys are gonna see with me. If it works, you're gonna see this video. If it doesn't, well, it's gonna get deleted, isn't it? So without further ado, let's try and stand my Fandu Big Gold up with this easel stand. Okay guys, so we are here at my WWE belt cabinet. Uh, obviously you can see my spinner and everything. I'm gonna pan you down a tiny bit so you can see my Fandu Big Gold a little bit better. Uh, but what we're actually doing here guys is I'm gonna take it out and try and just rest it on this easel stand. So if I open up the cabinet, uh, let's grab my JTW World Championship or the Fandu Big Gold. I have had this belt for just over one year. And the strap on it, well, the, the, do you know what? The fan new big gold, I might make a video on this. I honestly might because I'm really disappointed in this thing. The plating on it is terrible. Uh, I don't know how well it comes across on front camera, but this is like silver in so many places. Uh, it's just, you know, I, I know it was a cheap alternative, but, and the, don't get me wrong, the plates are fantastic other than the fact that it's dome, not curved. But look at the leather. Can you Can you see how this is split into several parts? Like... This leather is absolutely terrible. It can't support the plates at all. Um, so that's why I needed a stand. So what I'm gonna try and do is literally, I'm just gonna do up the belt how I have it displayed typically, uh, which I believe is like that. And I'm then gonna put this on the easel stand. Uh, so I'll flip you around so you can actually see this firsthand. Okay, so you guys are actually looking at my bed. Uh, this should be as simple as literally just Plopping it over like this, and let me just tuck it in nicely. And there you go. I'm happy with that. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see that properly, but I'm, I'm very happy with that. Let's move it to the cabinet. Wow. I must say, guys, this works wonders. Look at this. I've never seen my belt displayed like this. You know, it's really weird because this is such a simple fix that I just never pulled the trigger on. I've had my fan do sitting there and the reason the strap has split is because the way I've displayed it, I've just sort of dumped it in the cabinet. And uh, the reason, like now look at it, if I, if I pull you right back, it sits nicely with the other championships, which is awesome. 
Uh, <laughs> I'm quite in awe by it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's it's something really cool that I just never thought I'd see my fan do displayed like that. So there you go. It 100% it works. Well, there you go, guys. That is my Fandu big gold belt displayed on an easel stand, finally standing up, which is something that I've wanted it to do since the day I bought it. It's just never done. Uh, so I'm ecstatic, considering I've literally paid uh, under £5 for this thing. The results are spectacular. I finally can stand my championship loud and proud in my cabinet. So for you guys, if you're out there with a championship replica or a real belt with the real leather uh, or just vinyl strap like that one uh, that isn't standing upright, buy one of these easel stands. I will leave a link in the description. Uh, I'll try and find an eBay US version as well and an eBay UK version. What you wanna do is you wanna go on. They've got different sizes. I just ordered the regular large plate and uh, that has done the trick perfectly so i've been joe from joe talks wrestling guys you've been awesome uh thanks you for watching this video once again shout out to Stephen hammer for giving me this idea like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one goodbye Burn!